my name is Leah Burson. I go to Trey High School and I've been training with Trey since the fifth grade, about eight years. I started training with Trey towards the end of my fifth grade year. It was a real surprise to me because the training was more advanced and harder than what I was used to. I wasn't used to someone pushing me to work on my game at that level, so it was a real eye-opener to what basketball really was and where I was expected to be if I wanted to play basketball. I had not practiced basketball to the degree that I should have before taking lessons with Trey, which is why I think my parents got me involved with Trey to get me to practice more. But even after I started taking lessons with Trey, I continued to not practice basketball so I wasn't improving like my parents or Trey knew I should be. Talk a little bit more about how you said how you weren't motivated and what what was it that motivated you about the talks? Um, the talks, well, my mom and dad, they knew I wasn't practicing and I kind of didn't want to listen to them because I was like, they don't know anything about basketball. Mm -hmm. They've never played basketball. And so like, because he knew so much and like I was learning all these new things about basketball I didn't even know existed. It was hard because I didn't want to practice him because I didn't know him. And then I remember there was one day my mom told him I wasn't practicing at home. So he gave me a talk in the barn. Why am I getting so much more now? Sorry. And then um, it was really upsetting because I disappointed him. And um, I wasn't really used to that, so I started crying, and it just really made me want to practice basketball, and he knew that I could be good when I didn't know it myself. He had hope in me, and he believed in me. I don't think that anyone else saw the vision of me becoming a good basketball player like he did. It was pretty frustrating practicing at home. I wasn't a good shot, and I couldn't dribble either. So trying to walk the dog and do Tim Hardaway's at home was hard for me. My shot sucked, and if you ask Trey to describe it, he'll say that I crossed my arms and did a rainbow to shoot. Tell me something um, funny about the program that you remember. When I first came and started training with Trey, of course I didn't really know much about basketball. And so my form was pretty awful, and I kind of shot like a rainbow. Like, <laughs> it was weird rainbow. Show him the form. Do you remember that? <laughs> I kind of went like this. Yes. And then I went behind my back, and it was just really weird. And I don't even know how the ball went to the hoop at all. That's it's funny. <laughs> That's a good one. Now that I look back at it, I have no clue how the ball even made it to the basket. Practicing that at home was also hard because I kept wanting to rainbow shoot, but eventually I started focusing on my form and began learning how to shoot properly. But even though practicing was hard, I started to enjoy it because if I was practicing in the morning, there was a chance that Trey would drive by and honk at me when he was driving to the Watson's barn for lessons. Pretty cool to have somebody to be in your corner and to push you and believe in you at a point in your life when you probably felt like you knew you needed some work and maybe other people didn't believe in that in that area. No. Well, you miss yeah. training? I miss training so much. Yeah. Over the years, I gained a lot of experience playing travel ball with Huntsman Elite and continuing to take lessons at the barn. It came to a point where I was really invested in basketball and I wanted to play in college. I think Trey was the only one who believed that I could play at the next level and continue my basketball career in college. And that really means a lot to me. I think that I would really enjoy playing basketball in college, but as Trey knows, school is really important to me and I wanna make something out of it in college. And I know that I'll not get the grades I want in college because of my love for basketball. So this summer I decided that I was going to focus on college and any new opportunities that I might have in college. I'm going to miss basketball immensely in college, but I'm so thankful for the memories the years of playing basketball had gave me. Fifth grade, she began playing basketball at Triad. In one fifth grade game, Aaliyah received the inbound ball and drove the limit of the court and finished the layup for the game winning score. Clap, this is exciting. <laughs> it was evident that Aaliyah could improve her basketball skills. At the end of her fifth grade season, she began training with Huntsman Lee. They wrote down that Trey Huntsman and his team demonstrated and rehearsed multiple skills with her, which have been evident on the court. Her scoring and confidence has increased from four points a game to highs of 21 points. AU teams, eight for AU team won a championship. Last season, Lee scored over 249 points and also became the 15th all-time career.
career skills uh, player Matt Chai out with 101 skills. I think that deserves some clap. Leo so far has a total of 497 career points. Last year, Leo was selected as all second, second team all age. Aaliyah is a leader on and off the court. She's co-captain this year of the cross country team. She has tried at National Honor Society. She volunteered this past summer at Marysville Hospital. She plans to pursue a nursing degree at either Rice State University or the Ohio State University after she graduated. And is currently maintaining a 4.0 GPA. So Aaliyah, would you recommend anybody to come to training and why? I would recommend to get to training. Um, it's hard to practice by yourself, at, like at home. I knew it was hard for me at the beginning. But like when I went to training and I learned all these cool new moves, it really motivated me to go practice by myself because I wanted to get better at those moves and come show Trey next week, like, hey, look what I can do now. It was just like you meet a ton of new people training. Like I meet some of my best friends training and like especially in the AAU program I met a lot of great people there.